Hello and welcome to Talk of the Town. I'm your host, Jessa Jeremiah. We have a wonderful show for you today, as usual. We're going to check in with one of our news partners later in the show. Towards the end, we'll be talking about Heat Up Wisconsin. And right now, we are talking about some cuddly kittens. I'm joined by Lauren Glover, who's the co-owner of Cat Cafe Mad. Thanks for being with us today. Thank you for having me. I'm glad to check in with you because last time we spoke, you had made some pretty significant changes to the business. And I would love to, in case you missed it, share with viewers at home what's new at Cat Cafe Mad. Yeah, so we've actually uh, opened up an actual cafe part. We now have fresh espresso and coffee. There are is hot chocolate and uh, fresh French crepes, which you can make any way you want. So um, we have a lot of food, and then we still have lots of different cuddly cats. Yeah, so. that's the best part. I mean, I love food, don't get me <laughs> wrong, but you can actually go and experience some coffee and food while you're cuddling these great cats, this atmosphere of cats all around. You said they're extra cuddly right now, too, because of the cold weather. Yes, yeah, so right now they're a little cold, so when they see humans, they're like, yes, a warm lap. They're glad to see you. <laughs> I love that. That's great. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about the food since you have sort of, you know, sort of shifted to more of a cafe style. What would you say is your most popular drink? Right now, it's actually the hot chocolate. We use real hot chocolate from Sholins in Mount Horeb. And uh, it is just utterly amazing. We have a Mexican hot chocolate, which is our best seller. And it'll, it makes your, your mouth tingle and uh, <laughs> keeps you warm inside. <laughs> wow, we all need that right now. Let me tell you what. Let's talk about the food. So you've got crepes. And yeah. you know what? That's not something you see on a lot of menus. What are they like? These crepes, we actually have, um, there are specials. So my favorite is always the gyro one. But uh, they also, you can make your own. So you can just choose whatever proteins, ingredients, if you want to go vegetarian, if you want to go gluten-free, we have that. Um, and you can just make whatever crepe your heart desires. And since you can't really get many crepes in Madison, <laughs> this will be your chance to try it out. This is your chance. I always think of crepes as a sort of a breakfast food, but this is, you've really got a, a lot of options, it sounds like. Oh yeah, there's not a, and it's not just the savory option as well. You can actually get dessert crepes. So uh -huh. if you want a Nutella crepe, or if you want to get a very uh, old, the traditional crepe with uh, sugar and lemon, <coughs> all of those uh, are available. And uh, you can also get them small or large, depending on how hungry you are. Okay, so <laughs> this is your opportunity. Crepes and cats, what else could you ask for? Hey. Uh, let's talk so about some of your events. You do some unique things weekly and monthly. Yeah, we actually have, um, there's yoga that happens uh, weekly usually. Uh, we have movie nights. Um, next week we're having a back to school special where uh, students uh, will get free entry to the cattery with a, a drink and a large crepe. So things like that. Uh, we have events where people can just come in and uh, spend the evening actually cuddling with the cats. and. Awesome. So. so many fun things. I love the idea of yoga because those cats are already oh, yeah. so yoga-esque. Our cats are so used to the yoga now that yeah. they love to just come in and they're like, ooh, the mats are out immediately. Right. They, they do a lot of those poses <laughs> naturally anyways. Yeah, right? right? No, that's great. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about some that since you changed a little bit. Let's. How are the cats taking the partitioning of the cafe? They love our new bubble wall. They get to climb up and go and perch in the bubbles and then look down on people or look in. And so they're just like, yes, this is amazing. We have lots of different places to play and oh, hide Oh, what a down. neat so, way to do that. Yeah. yeah. So they can sort of perch and watch. Yeah. They can watch and then the humans can watch Who's them. Who's watching so. who? That's the question, <laughs> right? I love that. In case folks are still a little unsure, how does the Cat Cafe work as we head to break here? Let us know. So uh, the idea is, is that basically you come in, you can get um, drinks, food, everything. Um, you need to eat your food in the, in the front cafe part. Um, and then you can get entry to the cattery. With, Cute. As the back, back area, yeah. we're calling it, right? And then you can go in there with your drinks as long as they're covered. And you can hang out with the cats for as long as you like. Um, and so the idea is that we have to keep them separate, but also you can still enjoy them and you can watch them through the windows. I love it. So 
What a fun way to spend a day. I think that's great. Thank you for sharing this with us. Again, this is Lauren Glover, co-owner of Cat Cafe Mad there on Monroe Street. Go check them out. Thanks, Thanks. so much. Thank you for watching. We'll be back with more Talk of the Town after this.